Mr. Miha, what are your first impressions after the EU vote was counted? Um, for me, the most uh, important thing is that the turnout is quite high. Uh, the important message of this election is that the turnout uh, was around 36%, which is 7% uh, higher than uh, five years ago in the last election, and also twice as much as was the turnout 10 years ago. So we can see an increasing trend in, in the turnout. That was one of the surprises from this election. Uh, so, what are the other surprises? For me, it was surprising to see that uh, the two parties or two subjects uh, who are not members of the Czech Parliament were able to get to the European Parliament with a fairly uh, good, uh, good f uh, election result. And one of them is coalition uh, of two uh, subjects, Přísaha uh, and Motoriste, uh, who got around 10% uh, and they were able to get uh, two seats of, uh, the, the Europe, in the European Parliament. The other one is Tačilo, uh, Co Communist Party uh, coalition. They also got uh, 2%, uh, two uh, seats of the European Parliament. Uh, what uh, do you think uh, the Czech people are telling to uh, their uh, politicians with this vote? One aspect is that uh, this vote uh, showed some sort of disagreement with the current government, uh, because for example, Coalition Spolu, wh which is the strongest governmental party, uh, they ended up second, winning six, uh, six seats, but uh, it's not as great as they hoped for. And also the other, they are coalition members uh, in, in the government, uh, Stan, uh, Mayors and Independents, and the Czech Pirate Party. Uh, for them, this is a big loss, this election. They didn't get as much as, as they hoped for. So from the Czech voters, I can see there is a clear signal that they wanted to try or to give their trust to some other parties. Is there a rise in far right here? Um, I wouldn't call it that way because uh, one of the far-right parties, which is the SPD, uh, is also one, one of the big losers uh, of this election. They used to have two seats in the European Parliament, currently they only have 1% and they are the weakest or the smallest party to get, to get over the threshold to the European Parliament, winning uh, 5.7 points and only one seat of Parliament. So I wouldn't say it's a rise in far-right. Uh, unlike in some other European, European countries, such as Germany, France maybe, the Czech election is a bit specific, I would say, the Czech result. But we can see there is a rise in, let's say, far left, possibly, because the former Communist, uh, communist Party and their coalition, Stachilo, uh, they gained almost 10% uh, of, of the vote, which, which is very good uh, for them, which is, which is a huge success, because currently they are not a parliamentary party. Uh, they're not a member of Czech Parliament and now they received 10% uh, in the European election winning two seats. There is this uh, coalition Prisa and Motoriste, uh, which we, we don't know much about their program. So this is a sort of a big question mark, a big unknown.